Hi, my name is Michael Trout, and I want to talk to you why I started a corporation called FoundUps. FoundUps is an open corp, and like Plato would say, let's define some terms. An open corp is a selfless corp. It cares about the greater good. It cares about you, your family, your environment. And, this, and it is not a selfish corp, as all the corporations are. Even nonprofits are selfish corps. They care about the well-being of a few directors or a few stakeholders. And there is no mechanism for you to voice your opinion on what they're doing. I don't care if you're the Blue Cross or Red Cross or, or you know, the um, United, the UN, right? It doesn't matter. Your voice is meaningless. I believe this is wrong, and I believe we need a new kind of corporation that is interested in the greater stakeholder. So, I formed FoundUps as an open corp, as a corporation that anyone could be part of and that anyone can vote and share their opinions on how we're doing. And those opinions will actually register because the CEO, which is myself, serves at the whim of those that wish to cast a vote. Now, why is this, should this be important to you? Well, it should be important to you because I believe every, every problem facing humanity stems directly or indirectly from the corporation. And that if we can fix the corporation and have an equitable model, one that listens to the greater stakeholders, and one that is governed by the lesser stakeholders, which are made up by employees, not just the trustees, then we can bring about solutions to meet every problem facing humanity. You know, I remember back in the 80s when we talked about ending world hunger and watch this idea come and kind of go out of fashion. You know, we live in a society where there's over 2 billion people without education. And we want to somehow push them into this Western ed educational complex where we somehow charge them for learning. Learning should be a natural right. And the problems from the devastation of fisheries to the deforestation, from climate change, everything stems from the greed of a few unfortunately. And the only way we can curtail this greed is to introduce a new kind of corporation called the Open Corp. FoundUps, and you go to foundups.org, that's our LinkedIn page, is the world's first open corp. What does it mean? It means you can join us. You can be part of us. We have, we have a vision and our vision is this we want to launch a hundred thousand more open corps by December 2015 and this year started we've already started this year next year we're looking to to see how many open corps we can launch in December of 2012 which celebrates the end of the mind calendar now why should this be important to you because ultimately, if we can't understand this, if we cannot curtail the destruction of humanity by the 1%, then we risk everything. We risk the well-being of our children, of our future, of our species. And the only way to curtail this is by bringing forth a new kind of selfless corporation, one that's interested in the greater good. Now the good news is that all the Enterprise 
vehicles, which is the internet, is a primary one. Communication, right, exist. And we can use those already existent platforms in order to create a partnership and a co-op of literally thousands of corporations who say, yes, we will become an open corp. And yes, we will invest 20 to 80% of our net profits in launching more open corps. It's that simple. Now, what is an open corp? Well, very simply, it is this. The CEO is ISO 26,000 responsible, which means the buck stops with the CEO. In this case, it would be me for FoundUps. That is my responsibility, not my corporations, but my responsibility for seeing that we meet and are ISO 26,000 responsible. If I fail in meeting that criteria, then my head is on the chopping block. Which means this, every five years, and our first time will be December 2012, there will be a vote of greater stakeholders on how well I'm doing. Now, ultimately, anyone who feels that they are impacted by FoundUps has the right to vote. We don't have jurisdictions, we don't have area, you just sign up as a greater stakeholder and you cast your vote on how well I'm doing. If I fail, I have basically 12 months to, you know, do a turnaround. And if I fail in 12 months, I have six months. And if I fail in six months, guess what? I'm out. Now we mandate the greater stakeholder in our articles of incorporation to say that these individuals have the right to cast their vote and it is open to anyone in the world to be part and to, and to be one. To case in point, if, um, do you think if BP CEO would still be around after the fiasco in the Gulf? Of course not. He would have a massive vote of um, lack of confidence from the greater stakeholders. Nonprofits, for profits, none of them incorporate the greater stakeholder. We do. Secondly, is we mandate that we are 100% fiscally transparent. What does this mean? It means that open corps show what they're paying, who they're paying, how much they're paying. You may not see names. Well, you could probably guess where it says, you know, chief executive, what you're making, right? It's very important that we have transparency in finance because where there's transparency in finance, we can fight against fraud and misconduct. And it is when there is no transparency in finance, as we saw in the Enron case, that problems arise in, in what they call cooking the books. Next, we mandate that the lesser stakeholders within our articles are made up of not just the board, but also the employees. The lesser stakeholders ratify any changes to the articles and the bylaws. Now, what does that mean? It means basically when a CEO is appointed, it has to be ratified by the lesser stakeholders, not just the board, okay? The chairman appoints, the board approves, the lesser stakeholders ratify. Number two, if there's any changes to the bylaws or articles, Again, the chairman may nominate the change, the board approves the change, the lesser stakeholders ratify the change. And this can be done in real time. We don't have to worry about time because we have technology and everything else. And we may require a quorum, okay, which means a, a, a number of votes. Next, open corps are mandated by the lesser stakeholders to, in, to invest, not donate, invest, up to 80%, 20 to 80% of its net profits into launching more open corps. Now this is important because of this. It makes us highly scalable. It means we don't or are not relying on VCs or angels or the 1%. If we launch successful companies, then all of a sudden we can have funds to launch more. 
and more. And they're investments, which means that the company gets a stake in these new corporations that are launched. Now, how do we launch them? Well, we launch them using a framework that I've been testing and developing over the last two years called the Open Incubator Framework. We launch something called Open Startups. An open startup simply is a startup that anyone could be part of. Now, if you go to foundups.org, you'll see a whole list of open startups. You can join any of them. You can cast recommendations. You can join as an advisor, or you can actually become part of the team. And there are benefits for that. Now, how do we pay people? Well, we pay people with equity. Now, my intention is when we do an IPO in 2015 that I will not be a billionaire. You may laugh at that, but the simple fact is the CEO of Facebook and Google and uh, LinkedIn, any CEO that does an IPO becomes a billionaire. Now, foundups are open startups using our framework, okay? And foundups will launch every three to five years of their private placement as an IPO. Now, what I am doing is I am basically giving away my equity and the equity in the company in order to make lots of people millionaires instead of one silly billionaire. And I believe that this is an equitable model for launching what I call open corpse. It's not about becoming a billionaire or even a hundred millionaire. It's about launching companies that are going to be selfless, which means they're interested in the greater good, and ultimately ensure that we have a world that our children's children can enjoy and prosper in. We have to bring about change. And I'm calling for you to align yourself behind FoundUps and my vision of the Open Corp. Thank you.